B E A D G. But when it comes to a six string bass now, finally, when it comes to a six string bass, we have B E A D G. So from G now we have G, we have um, G, which is a string now. From there we're counting, we have G sharp, we have A, A sharp, B, then C. Meaning our sixth string will now be C. So if it's a six string bass, we'll now automatically have B, E, A, D, G, C. So if you have that, that means you have a standard tuning. So from there, you can now say that if this, if it's a five string now, you can or a six string now, you can now say this open, this open B, then this first note is C, then C sharp, then D, then D sharp, then E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp. B and C. So I'll do it one more time. So if this is actually a six string and it's following the standard tuning, then we have B open string B. Then this is C. This is C sharp. This is D. This is D sharp. This is E. This is F. F sharp. G. G sharp. This is G sharp. A, A sharp, B, then C. Now, this is B, right? This is rather C, um, C right? Good. If you are going backwards, if you are D, if you are um, going backwards, you are only flattening the key. So this, are, this now automatically, this, if this is C, then this is C flat. And it keeps flattening like that. So, let me, let me try the other string now, so before we close. So this is um, open E, right? So this is open E. So we have F, F sharp. We have G, G sharp. We have A, A sharp. We have B, C, C sharp. D, D sharp. E, F, F sharp. G, it keeps going. G sharp, it keeps going. A, A sharp, B, and then C. So this C and this C is the same. So it has the same tone but different frequencies. So if this is C, then let, let, let me show you something quickly. If this is C, then if this is open E, right? So then this is open A. So this is A, open A, this A sharp, this is B, and this is C. That means this C and this C is the same. So the difference is just octave. So you see, we have... So if you do... So this is an octave already. So this is... This is another octave of C. So you see now, C is distributed on the guitar everywhere. So it's simply a circle. So you're going... So that's, that's the secret of we playing like this. Before you know we are walking our way through the guitar so every scale you play on this octave can be played on this octave can be played on this octave this is another c this is another c can be played on this octave can be played on, on different octaves can be played on this octave so you see that you are beginning to distribute it because you know placement and positions of this key so this is mathematical. So I want you to study and settle down. It's rather settle settle down and study this so that you have a complete grasp of what I am saying. I normally say if you have any question, please don't hesitate to ask. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to ask. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to ask. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to ask.